Howdy folks, and in today's video I'm going to do a slightly crazy thing and I am going to contrast our very own Sakusu basic student saxophone with a pro-level mouthpiece with a pro-level horn, this beautiful Selma Reference 54, and a slightly basic plastic mouthpiece. Uh, this mouthpiece is just a kind of stock plastic molded thing with a very close tip opening. So the idea is, I don't want to give the conclusions away, but I want to point out the influence that the mouthpiece and in fact the whole mouthpiece setup has on the end results. So just to give you a little bit of further information on the value, I'm sure you get the idea, but with our student Sakusu here, this is approximately £350 in uh, Great Britain pounds, which is about $500 US versus a £5,000 reference 54. Um, it's just a little under $7,000. US um, And as for the value of the mouthpiece, I mean, this may isn't a super expensive mouthpiece. It's about £150 or $200, um, but it is a very good mouthpiece. And this is just merely a £15 mouthpiece, something like that, maybe $20. US So that's the value side of things. So. Let's just get on with it and we'll chat about it in a bit. Well, <laughs> let's just get straight into talking about this. I mean, I don't know how this is coming across to you guys, but to me, this is the reference, bear in mind, that's the last one I played there. The sound is incredibly thin and weedy and very kind of boxy and enclosed and just unsatisfactory on every level. Contrasting with the Sakusu, which I started on, for me, the sound was much bigger, more bold, I, I could express myself with it, more, more dynamics in there, more layers in the sound, all the things that I look for. And the feeling that comes from the player is that it's all coming from this business end right here. The mouthpiece, the read, the ligature setup, that whole thing. I can, I, I should back that up by saying I can feel the quality of the reference alto behind this mouthpiece. Um, it just kind of feels like this, like playing like this. I'm kind of being muffled, um, and behind it, there's this this oozing quality which just cannot express itself because this is going on here. Whereas with the Sakusa, it's the other way around. Um, you've got this wonderful open sound that is happening right here at the business end, and. The, the sax isn't as great as the reference, but it's still not bad. Um, I mean, I've pointed this out in previous videos. You know, you can get yourself a decent student instrument and it can work brilliantly for you. Uh, you know, if you're starting out, something like this is absolutely great. I'm not gonna go down that whole road right now. The main point of this video is to point out the contrasting sounds that you get when you change the mouthpiece. So obviously the ideal scenario is to have a pro level mouthpiece and a pro horn for the best of both worlds. You've got the wonderful sound source at the mouthpiece and then you've got everything else that the pro level saxophone adds on top of that. 
So you might be saying, well, why am I just endorsing a basic student instrument and a pro-level mouthpiece if that's all we need to do? Well, that does work really well, as I've hopefully just demonstrated. But if saxophone playing is your thing, if you're a professional or a serious hobbyist, then it does pay to spend a bit more money on a saxophone because on top of the basic sound that you get from a student instrument like our Sakusu there, when you start moving on to something like this or anything in between, then um, lots of things start falling into place for you. The sound can open up a little bit more, um, there can be more layers and interest in the sound, the dynamics can open up for you, the stability of the intonation, which is so important for me, the key action, all these things you've heard me talk about in videos gone by, and uh, for me this reference has it in abundance, um, but we just could not get there today with this instrument because we were shackled by having this, quite frankly, awful mouthpiece on it, which is the basic point of today's video. So I hope this has been useful for you and perhaps entertaining. Let me know your thoughts and I will be interested to see how bad I sounded on this mouthpiece when I watch this video back. Thank you guys and I will see you on the next one.